You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face on Greater Brockton. I have Stephanie St. Louis from School on Wheels. She's a program assistant. Stephanie, welcome. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm pretty familiar with your organization. Yes. You do things like mentoring, school supply drives, but we're going to talk about tutoring. Yes. Okay. Tell us about tutoring, and I know I was at a chamber event recently where Cheryl Opper, your executive director, talked about volunteers and people helping the organization. So let's talk about uh, tutoring. All what, right. what, what do we do with tutoring? Well, tutoring is, well, we, <laughs> gosh, I'm sorry. So we provide tutoring um, academic support to kids that are homeless in mm -hmm. Brockton and surrounding areas. We're in 15 different sites in seven locations. Mm -hmm. And um, our goal this year is to get um, 450 tutors to tutor 400 students in our program. Wow, 450 tutors, that's a big goal. Um, I don't want to put you in the spot and ask you about numbers now, but mm -hmm. uh, how are you doing with your goal? Do you, you doing well? Um, so far, so good, but we still need a lot more tutors. That is um, my main focus, is to get a lot more tutors. Now, how would people become a tutor? I'm sure there's some kind of an intake process. They have to take some training. They have to do some screenings. You know better than me. That's just what I think we need to yeah. do. Yeah, to become a tutor, so you have to be 18 or older. Um, high school students are allowed to tutor as long as they're with an adult or somebody that's 18 with them. Mm -hmm. um, you go through a three-hour training. Um, we are training this year at four different sites, our location in Brockton, um, New Bedford, Fall River, in Weymouth, and um, it's basically a three-hour training where our operations director, Robin Gilbert, and our educations director, Jennifer Gold, she basically trains you on how to assess the students and how to interact with the kids. And then from there, you fill out, a, um, you fill out an application, mm -hmm. and on the application, that's where you decide where you want to tutor in your grade preferences, your subject preferences, and then I complete a Corey check. Once you pass that, Robin, she assigns you to a student, and then you can start tutoring from there. And what's kind of a time commitment do people have for the tutoring? I mean, you, you talk about a real pretty simple, straightforward three-hour yeah. training. That's not a long time. How often can you tutor? Is there, a, is there a limit to it? Is there a certain number of hours a week? How does that work? Well, we ask um, our interested tutors to provide at least one hour a week. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's up to you, your preference. If you want to do two hours a week at multiple sites, you could do that. But we ask one hour a week for a three-month commitment. One hour a week, three-month commitment. That doesn't seem like a, a huge commitment. That uh, makes not. it easy to be a volunteer. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. very easy. Now, you mentioned your location in Brockton. Yes. I know where it is. Tell us where it is. Um, School on Wheels is located on 790 West Chestnut Street in Brockton. Um, we share a service, we share a building with HAPS Auto Service, um, mm -hmm. but sooner or later we will be transitioning to a new location, Okay. so I'll keep you updated with that. Sounds good to me. I know that School on Wheels from time to time does some programming at the Crescent Credit Union downtown yes. across from the post office, the, yes. the, what used to be the main headquarters, and they moved to a headquarters and there's spaces available upstairs and they're a nice community-minded organization. Yeah. I think the chamber event that I went to with Cheryl was over at Crescent Credit Union, mm -hmm. so they're a big supporter of yours. They are. Um, it, you know, uh, you, you, you got a smile on your face. You like what you're doing, I can tell. Yes. What's the, what's the joy for a volunteer of helping, helping a, a homeless student out? Um, I would say, me personally speaking, I did volunteer, and um, I was a tutor, and I was at a tutor at Lincoln Tech, and I had a, a teenage girl, and at first she was very shy, and then she opened up to me, and I felt like that was just one of the best feelings ever is when a shy student just finally opens up to a complete stranger to them. So overwhelmingly, it's just a wonderful feeling overall. Um, the kids are great, and, you know, you don't have to be a professor or anything like that. As long as you're there just to help the kid, it's just it's an overwhelming feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but it's such a great feeling. Well, I'm a teacher. I teach at Massasoit Community College. The students I have pay tuition to go over there. Mm -hmm. But at one point, I did a, a, a volunteer program called Senior Net, where I taught seniors how to work computers. They were afraid to turn them on. They were afraid of the computers. What was my payment at the end of the semester? I got hugs from yeah. all the people that were there, or a firm <laughs> handshake from some of the guys. Yeah. But it was a wonderful feeling. I had not 
taught two classes that semester. Usually I teach two, and I didn't have the second class, so I needed something to do with my time. So this sounds like another way to do it. Now, and like you said, they have choices of different sites. Mm -hmm. Now, look, at you're already a veteran. You've had one year of service <laughs> and one year of full-time. Um, you know, uh, talk about that student you had a little bit more. We don't have to do names mm -hmm. or anything like that. There's, there's, you know, unfortunately, there's a certain stigma with homelessness. Yeah, um, of course. But um, what do they get out of it after, when, when, when you, you're done at the end of the day? And I'm sure you probably stay in touch with those people. Yeah, um, they get out of it as there's somebody there for them. You know, that's how I can best describe it. Um, you know, depending on family situations, you know, they might not have both parents in the house or they might not have that person to be a mentor to them. And for you to just spend one hour a day, even if they don't talk to you that whole hour, just to know that, you know, you're there for them, that's, that's what they enjoy. And at the end of tutoring, I always see when they have, like, we have parties at the end. Mm -hmm. And I go to some of the sites and you see how they're jumping on their tutors, they're hugging their tutors. They're just so happy, even though they don't express it verbally. Mm -hmm. but you could tell that they're very happy to have somebody there as a mentor, a friend, down the line, you never know. Tell us phone number, website, things like that, so people can be in touch with you. Okay, you can reach me, Stephanie, at um, School on Wheels. Um, our number is 508-587-9091. Um, you can reach me at Stephanie at SOMA.org, S-O-W-M-A. Um, if you're interested in being a tutor, you can contact Robin Gilbert at Robin at SOMA, S-O-W-M-A dot org. Again, you can call that number, 508-587-9091. And soma.org is the website. Soma.org so is the and check website. Check it out, see what you're doing. Are the form, uh, do you know if the forms are on the website? No, the forms are not on the website, but um, if you do want to register, you can register online. I don't remember the correct link to it, but if you go on um, Get Involved, it's on the website. There's the tutor trainings, you can register from there. If that's a little confusing for you, have no problem. You can call me at the office or call Robin. Okay, perfect. Um, just curious what we have left for time. I think we're at the one-minute mark. So, um, Stephanie, one last pitch. Look into that camera. Sell it. <laughs> Tell people why they need to be a volunteer. You should be a volunteer simply because it's a good deed, simply because these kids need you. Education is key. School on Wheels is an amazing um, organization. Shara Opera has done an amazing job. It's 10 years strong. Um, like I said, we have 400 kids, we need tutors, so we're looking to reach that 450 goal. If more, it would be great, so go to www.soma.org, call us and sign up. We need tutors. Perfect. Keep smiling. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank um, you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.